Spiders are everywhere, hiding in forests, deserts, even inside your own home. With over 50,000 known species, it's hard to know which ones are truly dangerous and which are completely harmless. Today, we're counting down the 10 most dangerous spiders on Earth, including one small enough to be hiding in your laundry right now. Like strange and intriguing stuff? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10, Yellow Sack Spider. It's barely the size of your fingernail, pale yellow, almost see-through. It looks more like a speck of dust than a predator. But this tiny ghost is believed to be responsible for more bites than nearly any other spider on Earth. Why? Because it lives with us, in gardens, closets, behind baseboards, even in the folds of your bedsheets. Active only at night, it's a fierce hunter that comes out of its silk sack to look for prey, which can be another spider or insect. Fast, deliberate, ruthless, sometimes even turning cannibal if food runs low, devouring its own eggs and even other spiders to survive. Its bite is often compared to a wasp or hornet sting, sharp, burning, and lasting for hours. Inside its fangs is a mild cytotoxin that can damage cells around the bite, causing redness, swelling, maybe a blister. It's not deadly, but it's a level of pain you'd never expect from a speck of dust hiding in your bedsheets. And here's the worst part. Many victims never see it coming. Just the sting, the swelling, and the fear that follows. Number nine, the wolf spider. It doesn't spin webs. It doesn't hide in corners. It chases. Meet the wolf spider, named not for how it looks, but how it hunts. Like a lone wolf on the prowl, this spider stalks its prey then pounces with unsettling precision. You'll find over 100 species across North America, some even surviving near the Arctic Circle. Most are modest in size, but the largest reach up to two inches, covered in bristly hair, with thick long legs built for speed. They are feared for their fast running speed and can commonly be found lurking in grass, under stones, inside wood piles, and occasionally right inside your home. And while they're not aggressive, they will bite if threatened. Their venom isn't deadly, but the fangs are large enough to cause physical trauma at the sight of the bite, often leading to sharp pain, swelling, and an itch that can become so intense it may turn into a risky infection. Some say the bite feels like a bee sting, but the real fear isn't just the bite, it's their creepy appearance, their speed, and ultimately, their babies. The female wolf spider is a dedicated mother, and she carries her entire brood, often hundreds of tiny spiderlings, on her back. The danger? If you find one in your home and you panic, if you try to step on it or hit it, you won't kill one spider. You will release a plague of hundreds of tiny spiders, scattering in every direction. So next time you see one, don't panic. Just remember, it's never alone. Number 8. Black Widow Spider She's sleek, shiny, the size of a paperclip, and somewhere in your firewood, garage, or garden shed, she waits. The Black Widow Spider, Latrodectus mactans, isn't just North America's most infamous arachnid. She's the reason over 2,500 people call poison control every year in the US. She can also be found in parts of Canada and Central and South America. And yes, the stories are true. She sometimes kills her mate after breeding. Jet black with a glowing red hourglass beneath her belly, the female black widow is easy to spot if you're lucky enough to see her. Males, on the other hand, are smaller, paler, and sometimes don't survive the night. But her bite, that's where things get serious. It may feel like nothing at first. A pinch, a spark. Then the neurotoxins kick in. Intense muscle cramps, nausea, chest tightening, breathing becomes a conscious effort. The condition even has a name, latrodectism. Most victims recover without serious complications, although the bite is thought to be fatal to very small children and the elderly. However, there hasn't been a recorded death in the US in decades, but don't let that fool you. The widow's bite doesn't need to kill to leave a mark. Number seven, 
the mouse spider. At first glance, it looks like a creature from a sci-fi movie. Low to the ground, bulky, with a bulging red head that seems almost artificial. But this isn't a special effect. This is the mouse spider, one of Australia's lesser known but highly venomous eight-legged predators. Over 25 known species have been identified so far, with sizes ranging from just under half an inch to over an inch long. They spend most of their lives hidden inside deep, silk-lined burrows. You'll find them in a huge range of habitats, from moist forests and suburban gardens to even dry, arid bushland. And here's the kicker. Their venom is closely related to the Sydney funnel-web spider, one of the deadliest arachnids on the planet. The mouse spider's bite can cause sweating, muscle spasms, difficulty breathing, and may affect the nervous system. Although the venom has a high level of toxicity, a bite from a red-headed mouse spider has rarely led to severe symptoms. Still, victims are always better off playing it safe and seeking medical attention immediately if symptoms appear. Scientists discovered that the anti-venom for the Sydney funnel web also works against a mouse spider bite. But if nothing happens after the bite, you've been given a rare gift, a dry bite. No venom, just a warning. Next time, it might not be so merciful. Number six, the brown widow spider. It hides where your hands go first, under garden pots, beneath the mailbox lid, behind that dark corner of your porch. The brown widow spider, Latrodectus geometricus, is the overlooked cousin of the infamous black widow. Smaller, quieter, but possibly more venomous. Its body ranges from pale tan to charcoal brown, legs striped like worn thread, and beneath its abdomen, an orange hourglass glowing like a warning light. This isn't a local, brown widows are invasive, spreading from Africa to the Americas, Japan, Australia, and beyond. And while it's less aggressive than its relatives, don't get comfortable. Studies suggest its venom could be twice as potent as the black widows, though brown widows only secrete small amounts of venom when they bite. Because the spider injects so little venom, its bite is almost always significantly milder than a black widow's. Victims usually just report localized pain, cramping, and irritation. So, if the bite is mild, why is this spider on our most dangerous list? Because its real danger isn't the venom, it's the eggs. A black widow's egg sac is smooth and round. A brown widow's is a spiky, terrifying medieval mace. One female can produce up to 20 sacs per year each one packed with over a hundred spiderlings. That's not one spider hiding near your doormat, it's a colony in the making. The real danger? By next month, there could be a thousand of them, and only one needs to bite. Number five, the redback spider. In Australia, the redback spider is as common as dust, and just as easy to overlook. A close cousin of the black widow, Latrodectus haselti has spread far beyond the outback, hitchhiking on exported grapes, slipping into homes in New Zealand, Belgium, and Japan. Anywhere, fruit travels. So does she. Jet black with a blood-red stripe down her back, the female redback spins her web in quiet corners, under toilet seats, inside boots, tucked beneath lawn furniture. She rarely moves, unless provoked. And that's the danger. She doesn't need to chase. She waits. Though considered non-aggressive, a redback protecting her eggs is quick to bite, especially if you unknowingly trap her against your skin. While only one in five bites lead to full envenomation, when it does happen, the effects are brutal. Her venom contains alpha latrotoxins, neurotoxins that trigger pain, sweating, rapid heart rate, vomiting, and swollen lymph nodes. Some victims report hours of unbearable muscle cramps and burning nerve pain. Anti-venin exists, but doctors disagree on whether it actually helps. And no, there hasn't been a redback death since 1956. But pain this intense doesn't need to be fatal to feel like a slow execution. Number 4. The Brown Recluse Spider It doesn't chase, it doesn't leap, it doesn't even want to be seen. Found throughout the central and southern United States, the brown recluse lives up to its name, hiding in closets, basements, shoes, and folded clothes. It doesn't want to be found, but when threatened, it bites, 
Its venom contains sphingomyelinase D, a rare enzyme that causes necrotic arachnidism, a fancy way of saying it causes skin tissue to break down. At first, the bite feels like nothing. Hours later, pain sets in, sometimes followed by skin damage and slow healing lesions that can take weeks or even months to fully recover. In rare cases, the venom spreads through the bloodstream, causing hemolysis and systemic complications throughout the body. The fascinating part? It's small, often no larger than a quarter, and nearly indistinguishable from harmless house spiders, except for one eerie detail. Six eyes arranged in three pairs. Not all dangers announce themselves. Some just wait in the dark. Number three, six-eyed sand spider. In the silent deserts of Southern Africa, something waits, motionless, buried just beneath the surface. Only its six tiny eyes catch the light. This is the six-eyed sand spider, Sicarius honey. Its name literally means murderer. Flat, armored, and built for ambush, it lies hidden for days, cloaked in sand. It doesn't chase prey, it erupts. Its venom is among the most potent ever recorded in spiders, a powerful cytotoxin that quietly dismantles blood vessels and surrounding tissue. In early laboratory studies, its venom caused rapid systemic collapse in test animals, often fatal within hours. The effects? In theory, nausea, bleeding, organ stress, and massive tissue destruction. But here's the strange part. We barely know what it does to humans. In the entire history of medicine, there has not been a single, scientifically confirmed case of a sicarious bite. We have no data. We have no confirmed survivors. There's no anti-venom, no cure, and almost no warning. All we have is a spider named Murderer. And a question so unsettling, no one dares to test the answer. Number two, the Sydney funnel web spider. In the shadowy underbrush of Eastern Australia, beneath logs, inside shoes, and under garden mulch, waits one of the world's most dangerous spiders. The Sydney funnel web, Atrax robustus, isn't just venomous, it's aggressive, armored, and disturbingly persistent. Glossy black or deep blue with needle-like fangs, this creature doesn't strike and retreat. It grabs, holds, and bites multiple times. And here's the twist. It's the male that's more dangerous, with venom up to six times stronger than the females. The compound at work is delta atricotoxin, a neurotoxin that floods the body in minutes. Victims experience facial spasms, excessive sweating, difficulty breathing, confusion, and dizziness, sometimes even unconsciousness. Without treatment, it's lethal. With treatment, you're racing the clock. Since the anti-venom was introduced in 1981, there have been no recorded deaths, but only because people got to the hospital fast enough. And unlike most spiders, the funnel web doesn't wait for you to make the first move. It charges. First place, the Brazilian wandering spider. Most spiders wait. They spin webs, hide in corners, let the world come to them. Not this one. Originally from Brazil and present throughout the tropical areas of South America, the Brazilian wandering spider is the only spider on this list that goes looking for trouble. It hunts at night, roaming the rainforest floor with precision, speed, and intent. And during the day, it hides in banana bunches, shipping crates, even kids' backpacks, which is why it's also called the banana spider. It's massive, up to six inches across, hairy, brown, striped, and it doesn't just look like a threat, it is one. Its venom contains PHTX3 neurotoxins, among the most potent known to science. These chemicals shut down nerve signals, triggering violent muscle spasms, total paralysis, and in extreme cases, asphyxiation. Breathing simply stops. And the pain, excruciating, deep, lingering, the kind you remember forever. The Brazilian wandering spider is agile and extremely aggressive when threatened. Its fangs are large, powerful, and designed to inject that neurotoxic venom with horrifying efficiency. Its neurotoxins are 20 times more potent than those of a black widow, capable of killing a victim if the antidote is not applied in time. And if that wasn't strange enough, 
This spider's venom comes with one truly unexpected side effect. In male victims, the neurotoxin can trigger a rare and painful condition known as priapism, a prolonged reaction that's dangerous if untreated. It's so intense that researchers are now studying the venom as a possible treatment for erectile dysfunction. Let that sink in. This is the only spider whose bite is terrifying and potentially therapeutic. Ever crossed paths with a dangerous spider? Drop your story in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more intriguing videos, click one on the screen or dive deeper into the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.